Hey guys, welcome. I've just finished another great trading session with binary options on Quadex. I've started with only $3. You want to find out where I got with that amount, what I used, what technical analysis, what strategies, etc. Watch this video till the end. We're starting right now. I'm Oliver. Let's go. All right. I'm going to start straight away, guys. And $3 is on the first option for us. I'm using today Vortex, I'm using MACD as oscillators, and I'm using Parabolic SAR as the only indicator. And this short option is due to the MACD, is due to the Vortex, which shows the dominance of the red line, which is, uh, which represents the, of course, the downtrend. And yeah, the um, also the SAR, parabolic SAR, is also is is um, on top of our of the of the mark of the graph. So that means we're if we're below, we're in kind of a bearish mood. And also now it pushes us, resists pushing it down as well. So it's it's kind of a resisting resisting point as well for us. But yeah, let's wait for the result of this and continue. Here's the profit, guys. We are in the in the game, right? We, we started with three dollars. It's uh, it's six dollars now. We're gonna keep pushing, and we're gonna try and make the compound percent work for us. So yeah, let's let's do the next option with six dollars. And let's have a look. We are actually as well for the short here. It's a similar situation. The SAR is, has just changed as well. So we are going for the short. And of course the vortex also and except for MACD is it's not so decided yet. It kind of looks up a little bit but Yeah, it'll come around probably. Let's wait for the result of this and continue. Here's a profit, guys. $11. Not a huge amount yet, but we're, we're starting with something. We're starting with something and it grows exponentially. So just look how it will uh, use the compound percent to make this snowball effect and the balance is going to grow exponentially. Let's move on. Let's continue. Right. So Vortex is actually switching some places there. Hmm. Let's go ahead with $11. Hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. This helps channel enormously. Let's move on here. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna go ahead and, and do another shore because everything is actually is good for the short. I mean star is for the short, MACD, maybe for a pullback. Well globally the downtrend is on as well, so let's hope this works out because vortex is actually is switching some positions there but uh, we'll see we'll see in a second let's wait for it and continue hey welcome to the first more or less um, good looking option here and yeah $22 is something to start with already. So after this, it's gonna just grow every time because we have the percentage of the amount uh, in the profit. So the next one is gonna be 92, 90, 92%, depending on which one we're gonna choose. But yeah, we're gonna create um, a, almost um, a double of the balance every time. So let's go to this one for example 92% let's find out 
So twenty-two dollars. We're gonna go with another. Okay, so I think there's gonna be some resistance. So again, another short. I think um, the the parabolic SAR is resistant a bit now. So the idea here is, yeah, it's it's gonna go for a pullback at least, and then obviously everything else is also looking quite bearish and globally a downtrend is on so yeah go figure it's it's what it is we're gonna wait for the result and continue and here it is guys almost a double of the balance and guess what the next one is gonna be also almost a double so this is how this snowball effect works obviously you need to be, be careful because it's never 100 percent the option you can only get so um well you can only get so lucky and you can only get so so correct um so be careful be careful with the with what amount you're you're placing for the options okay let's move on let's move on 42 dollars for the next door is the next option and what we see here we see some nice growth actually and everything this time everything is showing us that there is potential to the growth to the long and we're gonna go in with the call option for one minute let's wait for the result of it and continue We have a profit and you can see almost a double is $80. It was 92% payout again. And of course, we're getting really close to a three figure. And this is, a, this is amazing how it works, actually. Uh, 80. So let's move on. Let's push a little bit more and righty righty guys by the way if you're unfamiliar how everything works um, meaning indicators oscillators all that um, all that stuff do check out the description of this video because i leave an invitation link to a telegram group of me and my team we share years of experience in trading not just with binary options but with any options just this quick um, quick option here so uh, do check out the, the group because you can learn a lot of stuff there I've just made this put option guys um, you see that the downtrend is forming and we are we entered right at the top of the pullback so this is a really good point to enter so yeah let's wait for the result of this and and see see if we're we're correct with the decisions here. Here is the profit, guys, and we're into three figures. This is a really, really outstanding result, considering we start with just a few bucks, you know? And we're gonna try and keep pushing. It's risky, but just wanna show you guys that you can get to really, really fun results here fun i mean like the amounts can get pretty high depending how lucky you get depending uh on different on on the different stuff so 154 and we continue with the next option of course if you are not correct you you lose the amount that's the cons Huh. what do we have here we're gonna go ahead and place another short because um, basically the resistance is there and you know i i do work a lot from resistant levels because they are quite strong they are quite the affect the price really really a lot in most cases and more than the oscillator 
Um, so because the vortex, for example, it, it shows that the price has gone up here. So the, the dominance is going to the uh, to the green line there, and also the MACD. Uh, well, it's it's not decisive either. So you gotta work off something. Of course, we have parabolic SAR, which is below, which may act as a support for us also. That's another thing to, to, to keep in mind. But yeah, let's wait. And here it is, we didn't have to wait a lot because I usually talk through the whole time. But yeah, almost 300 we have from this one option. Amazing results. And what I'm gonna do is one or two more guys i just want to show you that you, if we can get to like four figures that's gonna be like crazy crazy good so let's try it let's try it um so we need one or two two more options so let's go with a 296 first 296 choose the next victim something here we have a downtrend going on, Vortex is there, yeah, everything's for the down. There's a lot of short options today, although we have the Parabolic SAR, which is there kind of as a sport, but I think we're gonna break through it. Also, MACD, as you can see, is about to cross the slower line down which is a good indication usually for the price to go down if, if everything else is also according then yes and it looks like it's gonna happen so yeah let's wait for the result of this and continue here is the profit guys and we're at the point where one more trade and we have our goal, which is four figures for this. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see if we are so lucky. So let's move on to the next option and do, do, do. Huh. Let's, yeah, let's switch to to another current to another currency what I do I switch to the currencies because like here for example I would have to wait for this perfect moment and it's not it's boring to sit and wait around and I'm just I just keep switching between the currencies and that way that way we can look for example if we go here okay so we see a flat market here and we can guess. Hmm. There is a there is a resistance level there. So again, short. This um, it it cannot break through. As you can see, it's in these in this um, flat <clears throat> situation, and it's not breaking through up. So it means it, it doesn't have enough power or it doesn't have enough power yet, or it's gonna go for a pullback, or it would break it through already. So we're going with the short because it's not doing anything, because it's, it's kind of fading. And that's an indication that uh, it doesn't have enough power yet. So hopefully we can profit from this situation, and if we are lucky enough, we are gonna get our goal for today. Let's wait and continue. Here it is, guys. We got to our goal for today, four figures. We're going to stop here. I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.